Thank you for speaking to Security Review. Nice having you with us today. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, we'd like to start with a brief about your presence at the event this year and what sort of solutions are you focusing on? So today we are uh, presenting and focusing about our Tenable One exposure management platform and also our Tenable Cloud security solution. Uh, this is the mainly what will be the focus this year for JSEC. Uh, exposure management is a very key, important subject for Tenable this year. Uh, can you tell us about your new vulnerability uh, intelligence cap capabilities? So, vulnerability intelligence has been introduced roughly, um, you know, roughly a year ago. Um, since uh, we were helping organizations to find vulnerabilities, so detecting vulnerabilities in their existing infrastructures. With vulnerability intelligence, we give them access to the whole data about knowledge of vulnerability from our research team. Any kind of information from threat entail to ransomware groups attached to a specific vulnerability. That is changing dramatically the way they can approach vulnerabilities. In the past, we were detecting vulnerabilities and they were focusing about the research of that. Today, they can go and get access to vulnerability intelligence, find any kind of vulnerabilities, not only what they have, and for example, using one of the solutions that we have called exposure response or exposure signal, which is if you see that vulnerability, then let me know, okay? Which is a completely different approach. Both can still, you know, uh, be running, uh, scanning classically, detecting vulnerability they have, but also proactively understanding the vulnerabilities, any kind of vulnerabilities, not only what they have, and then proactively asking the system to let them know if that specific vulnerability will occur. Okay. In terms of OT security, why is it critical for industries in this region? So in this region specifically, we have a lot of infrastructures running OT systems. You know, power, energy, oil and gas, water, all of them are using OT. Not only them, you know, the transport. So within this region, this is a very key, important subject. But IT and OT are living together, and that is also one of the key elements. And um, we've seen a, a hot topic that has been here for at least a couple of years is AI. So it's a double-edged sword. It can be used for good, but for bad as well. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on that? So number one, AI is not new. Uh, Gen AI is new. So AI and Gen AI specifically. So we are using AI at Tenable for many years. You know, we used to use machine learning. We're still using machine learning. One of the key elements of that is, for example, we are rating a specific vulnerability. Uh, so we use a VPR, Vulnerability Priority Rating. That score, which is generated within our solutions, is using machine learning. So that is number one. So we didn't wait it for having Gen AI to start using AI. Number two is obviously Gen AI, because when you talk about AI, I think you're talking about Gen AI as well. So Gen AI is the most adopted technology in the history. Okay, so this adoption is very, very big. So what do we do there? We help organizations to secure their own AI project. You know, they are using cloud for running AI projects. So they are running AI projects in cloud infrastructures. They're doing that very quickly. They deploy AI packages without security. So first, number one, we help organizations to understand their AI, if there is any shadow AI, and in the cloud specifically, if there is any weaknesses or vulnerabilities. We have launched a specific report called Cloud AI Risk Report, you know, highlighting some findings specifically related to Gen AI projects, which are deployed by organizations. Okay, I'm talking about the private Gen AI projects. 70% of those AI projects have critical vulnerabilities. 77% in cloud, uh, um, you know, Google Vertex AI are using uh, a service, a service account, which is having some other privilege, as an example. So that's what we do on AI. We also use AI internally within our platform to help security practitioners to understand their exposures and also the remediations they need to apply. Okay. Uh, uh, coming back to OT systems, 
how are you securing legacy systems so keep in mind that tenable has always had a hybrid approach we never stopped deploying and offering to our customers and organizations on-prem solutions okay yes organizations are going to the cloud and the cloud is a brand new threat that we are also covering with tenable cloud security and our tenable one exposure management platform but in the meantime we have on-prem infrastructures. We believe in the hybrid approach. We believe we need to have on-prem solutions and cloud-based solutions working together. That's why, for example, Tenable One Exposure Management Platform is including on-prem solutions we are providing and also cloud-based solutions. Uh, thank you for speaking to us. Nice having you with us today.